Welcome to Lost Culture, the one-stop destination for everything pop culture. My name is Aston, and today we're going to do a live reaction and a quick review for Star Wars Rebels Season 3 promo. Alright, so we're just going to jump right into it. All right, there we have it. There goes the, um, the episode, I mean, goes, I mean, season three trailer. All right, so in this trailer, there's a lot going on. We see, we're still seeing them use that same base that they used in season two. The one, um, I think it's the mystery of Chopper base. So we still see they're using that base. We see the rebels are actually getting a lot more organized, a lot bigger, a lot stronger. But at the same time, we see they're also, their enemies are starting to get a lot stronger, like the Empire, we see they actually brought in, um, in Grand, Grand Admiral Thrawn. So we see their threats are starting to get bigger. If you don't know who um, Thrawn is, he's a, um, a Legends character who uh, re pre recently brought to Kanan. I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. I don't know what it is. But we see Grand Admiral Thrawn. There's a new challenge this season. I'm glad to see that. We see a lot more um, Mandalorians, which is to be expected because we know the Dark Blade is actually going to play a um a role in this season so with the dark blade normally mandalorians come and there's going to be a lot more going on like i like how we've seen we've seen ezra and kanan fight so i don't know what led them to do that um we know we've seen a lot of a lot of throw i mean see a lot but we've seen we've seen um maul in this episode and this, this trailer his eyes were glowing green as well as Kanan's eyes were draw, um, glowing green so I don't know what it is only thing I can think of that has that kind of effect that we've seen before in the Star Wars would be like um the Dark Sisters I think of their name whoever mom like Maul's mother she had like this little this green magic that kind of does that little like fiery thing to us that we see from their eyes and it reminds me of her I think Mother Towson or something like that. I can't remember her name for the life of me right now. But we know, um, we know she uh, has magic. So magic is in the Star Wars universe already. So it looks like they're kind of possessed. Maybe her spirit comes back and trying to take controls over that to fight over each one. Which makes me believe more that we see Maul's eyes are green. We see Kanan's eyes are green. We see Maul, Kanan, and Ezra in multiple shots and multiple like trailers and teasers. So we know that these three are always going to, like, for the most part of the next season, or at least for for a nice bulk of next season, they're going to be in the same like area. So I don't know if that means Maul is going to be joining our Rebels crew, which I hope so, because Ezra needs a new trainer, a new master. I had no offense to Kanan. Like, I like Kanan, but Maul is a much stronger master than Kanan, regardless of his dark side like, affiliation. It makes more sense to bring Maul in now than him train Kanan and Ezra. So we know that. And I think um, we also know that Freddie Prince Jr. already, he kind of let it slip that he's going to be training Ezra and Sabine. We know Sabine gets the Dark Blade. And so we know that Kanan is still going to have some type of like, training going on with Kanan, not with Kanan, but with Ezra. So I'd like to see that. Um, like I said, this trailer, we didn't get to see too much, but we did see a lot. Like, we've seen, like, the Empire strength. We've seen a couple more. We know that Hera actually knows who Thrawn is, so it's not like a, a new person that's surprised, which is crazy because, um, if you know anything about, like, Star Wars Legends, I don't know if it's still in canon, but we know the Empire was very, like, I think the word, like, we racist towards aliens. They were not feeling um, aliens at all. They never really put them in side like positions of power so now that we see that Thrawn is here he actually has a name for himself maybe that they'll actually down dive into that about how the Empire feels towards alien races and other things of that nature but like I'm saying I'm really excited I'm going to be doing a season three recap I'm actually finished with season one I'm going to be loading those up within the next week or so um, I'm partially done with season two those are probably most of these movies well I'm probably just going to upload them all at the same time Sometime today, probably. But 
thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, I'm really excited for the season. I can't really wait for this season to start in like two weeks, I think. Less than two weeks now, on the 24th. So thank you guys for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you want your friends to see it. And thank you guys for tuning in. Follow us on Instagram at lost underscore culture and to follow me on Instagram at saint underscore Aston. And as always, stay lost. <laughs>